Aw, oh, it's okay, Mr. Triceratops Man. You don't need to be so blue. I know. Hey, what's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Blue Ranger. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Of course, we have the big lightning bolt there in the back. There we have the Blue Ranger Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Limited Edition Legacy Collection Blue Ranger. On this side of the box, we just have nothing. On this side of the box, we have lightning bolts and things and zoo. Anyway, on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and if you collect all the figures, you can build the Megazord, and hey, look, all the figures in this wave, and that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here we have the Blue Ranger, and just like the other figures, very, very cool, and not a whole lot new going on here, because it is the standard male body that they're using for the uh, Mighty Morphin dudes, but we'll get in close here so we can take a look at the helmet. Very nicely done helmet, you do have some nice white trim there on the top of the visor, you have nice gold for the eyes, you also have the silver there for the horns, and you have silver there for the mouth plate, and black for the visor, and very nicely done sculpt there for the helmet with all the lines and details that it is supposed to have so very cool and again the body as i said is the standard body that they're using for all of the male mighty morphin dudes not a whole lot going on there he does have his morpher right there with the triceratops molded in which is quite nice and of course all the usual details going on here with the suits down to the boots and up the back, and pretty much it. Now, articulation wise, the head can do a full 360. You can look up a little bit, can look down a good ways. Uh, the shoulders can rotate 360 degrees. They can go outward on that, that ratchet joint. This one's a little bit tighter. Well, it was tighter. It's actually loosened up, but it is, there is a ratchet joint in there. There you hear the clicks in there. Clicky. <laughs> anyway, you do have a bicep swivel. You do have a double jointed elbow, so you get a decent range of movement there. You do have the, the glove swivel right here, which again, don't know what purpose that really serves, but hey, it's there. You do have a wrist swivel as well as this hinge, so depending on how you orient things, you can have that hand in pretty much any position you want. It does have the ab crunch that can go forward a good ways, can also go back a good ways. You have a waist swivel. Legs can go forward, that far, back, only that far, outward, that far. You do get a thigh swivel, which is pretty tight, but there is a thigh swivel there does have a double jointed knee, so you get a nice full range of movements there. You got the, uh, the boot swivel, and the feet can move upward and downward, and you also get some ankle tilts right there. Actually, a good amount of ankle tilts right there as well. So there you have that. He does include his accessories. We can get him standing here. He does include his blade blaster. Which is just like all the other blade blasters that we've seen, done in white and red with a little bit of silver there at the tip. But again, nicely molded. So, you can hold that if you want them to hold it. If you want them to be one of them weapon holding kind of people, you can do that. You can hold this blade blaster. And he also does have the holster here for his blade blaster, which is just cast in a white plastic. And that just pegs into the side of his belt right there into that port. You can take the Blade Blaster, which is made of a very soft plastic, as you can see. There's a lot of wibbly-wobbly action going on there. And you can take the Blade Blaster and just put it into the holster right there. Ready to go whenever it is needed. So there you have that. Let me just get them situated here so we can bring in the other Rangers. So here we have the Red Ranger. Here we got the Black Ranger. Here we got the Green Ranger, and here is the Pink Ranger. So we almost got the band together. Almost, almost there. There you go, and they do look good together. Very nice set of action figures. Very, very cool in my opinion. 
Very, very well done as far as I'm concerned. So there you have that and that. And here he is with the Figu Arts Blue Ranger. Yes, so you can see how he scales with his Figu Arts self. So there you have that. Now he does include a piece of the Megazord. He does include the uh, the left leg of the Megazord. Which is actually pretty nicely done. You got the uh, silver plastic going on here. You got some red. You got some yellow there. Yellow and white. Red there for the eyes. He does some nice more detail on the side here. Unfortunately, it's not picked out in paint. Um, you do have the treads here. Which are also nicely molded again. Unfortunately, no paint on it, but looks good. And you got a whole bunch of ball joints. You got the ball joint up here. You got the knee, which is on a ball joint. Which has a good amount of bend to it. And the foot itself is on a ball joint. So it actually move up a little bit, move down a little bit, and you also get some good ankle tiltage there, so there you go, that's that's a leg, that sure is a leg, but we need to connect this leg, and we're going to connect this leg, so we're going to bring in our Megazord here, and he can finally have a leg, we'll just pop this bad boy on, Boop. there we go, and now he is a, a one-legged Megazord in a butt-kicking contest, and he'll win, there, we, there you go. We're almost done here. We're almost done. Now we will be getting the Yellow Ranger and the White Ranger in the next wave of figures. When that will be out, I am not sure. I got them on pre-order, so as soon as I have them, I will review them. But for now, yeah, the Megazord's going to be uh, just kind of standing on one leg for, for a while. But hey, we'll get to it eventually. But there you go. So if you would like a Blue Ranger or any Power Rangers Legacy toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Power Rangers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Blue Ranger, and this is Mgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, pull me in your face! Who are you? My name is Pesepta. I am the most intelligent member of the Autobot team. I'm the smartest member of our team! Did we just become best friends? Yeah, we did! Oh, let's go! Let's go tell everyone how smart we are! Okay!